Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and great pleasure to welcome the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, to the ITU. This is a historic visit. The last UN Secretary General to address the ITU Council was actually 71 years ago, and it was Dag Hammarskjöld. It was a different world back then, and actually when he was introduced, the speaker said, Secretary General. Then the speaker looked to the room and said, gentlemen. And then he said again, gentlemen. Actually, there were two women when he addressed the ITU Council 71 years ago. There was also no internet. Artificial intelligence was the stuff of science fiction. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a UN Secretary General who speaks our language, an engineer who actually taught telecommunications, someone who understands the opportunities and the challenges of modern technology, and he has made digital a top priority. Mr. Secretary General, the ITU supported your vision when you launched the high-level panel on digital cooperation, a panel that was created before the pandemic showed the critical importance of digital connectivity and cooperation. And we've been there ever since, contributing to key initiatives and processes, including the current Global Digital Compact. As the UN Agency for Digital Technologies, ITU stands ready to play a key role in the implementation of the Global Digital Compact. Our work on radio, standards, and digital development has been making global communications possible for nearly 160 years. Universal connectivity and sustainable digital transformation are at the heart of our strategic plan. And together, with our 193 member states, which Secretary General, I'm pleased to inform you, will soon be 194. This is hot off the press, as this morning, we had some good news that Palau has embarked in the accession process to become the ITU's newest member. Of course, we also have our 1,000 industry and academic members, and together with member states, industry, and academia, we tackle some of the biggest challenges of our times, from connectivity to cybersecurity, space to artificial intelligence, climate change to sustainability. These topics are all in focus at this very council, where our member states commended the successful WISIS Forum and the recent AI for Good Global Summit. These multi-stakeholder fora give developing countries and digital development community an equal seat at the table. With the Summit to the Future just over 100 days away, and the 20-year review of the WISIS by the General Assembly next year, we are in a race against time. A race to harness the potential of emerging technologies like AI and minimize its risks, to rescue the sustainable development goals, and to leave no one behind in a world where 2.6 billion people are still offline. This digital moment is also a UN moment. It's a moment to leverage and adapt time-tested frameworks, frameworks like the WISIS. It's a moment to strengthen our partnerships in key areas, from early warnings to gender equality to combating disinformation. And it's a moment to reignite global responsibility and solidarity, including in the digital world. As you can see, Mr. Secretary General, ITU is fully engaged in building a better digital presence, better digital present, and a better digital future. We won't stop until digital equality and opportunity are a reality for everyone, everywhere. I would like to thank you on behalf of the ITU elected officials, the ITU team, and the ITU Council for joining us today where, Secretary General, we have been transforming your vision of digital cooperation into action. Together, 
let us redouble our efforts to deliver the SDGs by the end of this critical decade. Excellencies, ITU counselors, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres.